Yes, today we're gonna get to the bottom of this once and for all. And you know what? In all fairness, you probably do see a lot of videos where people use sergers and my videos including, and I absolutely, I absolutely love these two sergers. I, yes, I do have two of them. There is a story behind why do I have two of them? So please don't judge. And maybe I'll share that story with you a little bit later. But surgeries are absolutely amazing. However, I do know that there's quite a few assumptions that people have regarding these beasts, so to speak. So in this video, let's dive deeper and let's find out, do you really need to have a surgery or not? So let's get started. So what is this beast that we're talking today about? And you know what? A lot of times people assume that surgery is just a fancier sewing machine which it's not. Even visually, you can tell that it's completely different. And the biggest giveaway are these spools of thread over here. And that can also tell you what kind of surger that is. So mine is four thread surger, and there are three thread sergers out there, five thread, six thread, and I believe up to eight thread. And it just really depends on what you're buying your serger for. But the most common ones that majority of people like you and me who sew at home and who are really, really into this awesome hobby like sewing, we have either four thread or three thread sergers at home. So four threads, that's cool, but what does it actually do, Walisa? So three main characteristics that set serger apart from sewing machine are, number one, all of this thread gets actually fed through upper looper, bottom looper, left needle, and right needle. What it does when you feed the fabric through your serger, it actually wraps the thread around the edge of the fabric, creating that beautiful crisp and professional finish of the seams that you see in stores or from those people that use serger in their sewing. Number two, it has the ability to cut the fabric as you sew. So what I mean by that is as you feed the edge of your fabric through your serger, it cuts it so very evenly to make sure that when it does go through the loopers, when the thread goes around it, that everything is really nice and neat. And number three, it is so fast. It is so much faster than your sewing machine. It goes up to 15 to 1700 stitches per minute. I mean, it's, it really is a beast. And when I say it's faster, it is unbelievably faster. Like, whoa, you can't even imagine. So wait, 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 is serger only good for finishing up the edges? And that's another assumption that people have quite a bit about a serger and that is just so not true. And I truly hope that this video will change your mind because with a serger, you can actually sew full garments. And this t-shirt is a living proof to that. And this is not the only t-shirt and I have some sweatpants and a lot of baby clothes that have been made only by using serger, nothing else, just the serger. This really is a machine that a lot of people underestimate. So if you sew a lot of leisure, if you sew a lot of t-shirts or casual wear, a lot of baby stuff, serger definitely would be your friend in that adventure. And yes, a seam done by serger is stretchy, so it is perfect to sew jersey and knit fabric with your serger. Okay, so it's good for knits, and that's it. Also, so not very true. In fact, I use my serger on all types of fabrics that I use for my projects, on linen, on cotton, on jersey, of course, that we just discussed, on sweater knit. And the difference is only in how I proceed with using the serger. On the knits, of course, it's fabric, right sides together, and you serger it right away without any other seams, and you open it up, and then the seam is complete. When I do work with linen, for example, for summer tops, or for skirts, or pants, or anything like that, I would serge the seam of one piece of fabric separately and then the other piece of fabric separately as well and then I will put them together and then I would do a seam with a sewing machine so that way I can press the seam open to avoid any extra bulk and that's just my personal preference. However, you can serge it all together right away and in fact you can work on many different fabrics with a serger, it just really depends on your settings. Mm, okay, here's the biggest myth. The assumption that threading a serger is an absolute nightmare and it's like a rocket science. And you know what, don't get me wrong, the older models probably are a little bit more complex than the newer ones. However, here are two tips for me. Number one, 
do keep your manual handy. So if you do buy a serger, don't throw it out, okay? <laughs> keep that manual handy for at least the first month that you are learning how to sew and operate a serger. And number two, usually, especially the newer models are color-coded. However, to me, that's not enough, especially when I first started using the serger. And I have two, and both of them are threaded differently. So what I did is I took a, a, an erasable pen or like a little post-it and I cut it to size and number which one goes first, second, third, and fourth. So that way, when you're threading your serger, you can actually learn visually what goes where and you don't have to have your manual all the time with you. That's what I did. So if I can do it, then you can do it for sure. I assure you, don't be intimidated by serger and you will learn how to use it. So is serger only good for two functions, which is serging a seam and working with knit fabrics? That's all? Also a wrong assumption. Serger can actually do quite a bit of things and there's a lot more than meets the eye at the very first impression. And just an example, it can do a really beautiful flat lock seam, quite a few decorative seams as well. It can piece the lace, it can gather fabric, it can do a rolled hem on chiffons. So really your manual, your instruction manual for your serger is like this uh, chest of knowledge that you should hold on to because Everything that you need to know about your serger is right there. And if I were you, I would just play around with your scrap fabric to get started so that way you can discover what your serger can really truly do and just use it to the full potential because you know what? You spend that money on it if you do decide to buy it, so you might as well use it, right? Now, do you absolutely need to have a serger? No, there's quite a few things that you can do on your sewing machine that would imitate the seam that a serger creates, meaning imitate that it will visually look somewhat the same. However, the technicalities of creating that seam, of course, are going to be different because on the sewing machine, you're only working with a bobbin thread that's underneath your fabric and a needle thread that's above the fabric, right? Here, as we have already established, you have four threads, three threads, five threads, or whatever is the serger that you have or that you're going to get. Now, zigzag stitch works just as great to make sure that your fabric does not un unravel on the edges of your seam, which I, what I've been doing for years and years and years and years before I had my first serger that my, my husband gave me as a gift. Now you can also use zigzag stitch too, so your knits and jerseys, that works great as well. So do you need a serger? I would really gauge that upon how much do you sew, what are you sewing for. So if you are selling garments that you're making, I would consider serger because it does give you that really nice crisp professional finish. If you sew a lot, for example, I sew a, a lot, especially for my baby, pretty much everything she's wearing, like 95% is handmade by me. I find it cheaper. I do find it cheaper to sew for her. So pretty much everything that I make for her is made on a serger as of this very moment. If I were you, I would really just consider the amount of what you sew, what do you sew? And is it really that necessary for you to have that finishing touch of a serger or maybe not? You also asked me quite a bit, which serger should you buy? And I cannot answer this question without being biased. And no, this video is not sponsored by Brother Sewing Machines, just so you know. But I do mainly have Brother Sewing Machines and uh, I have not tried any other sergers. However, if I were to pick between these two, I would pick this one 100%. It just has some of the features that I really appreciate. One of them being that the knife that is actually cutting the fabric, you don't have to manually undo it to fold it in. There's actually a little lever over here that will bring it up or will bring it down. In this serger, you actually have to like manually take it out, which it's a small step, but you know what? Convenience is everything. And when I do need that knife to be down, this is so much easier to do on this serger rather than on this one. And um, this one is also easier in threading. And this is the serger that I've had longer than this one. This one uh, will be a year in December. And this one I had five, maybe going on six years now. So I cannot answer that question for you unbiased. I haven't tried all of them, but if I were to choose, I would suggest this serger for sure. It's a workhorse. I've done so many things on it and it's definitely has stood the test of time.
So really, a sewing machine and a serger are two completely different things, and all the serger can do a lot. You cannot use a serger like a standalone sewing machine because it's not, and there are a few things that a serger just cannot do. For example, it cannot insert a zipper or make a buttonhole or things like that. So you can construct a garment from start to finish on a serger and on a sewing machine depending on what kind of fabric you're using, but you cannot do um, things like insert a zipper or a buttonhole on a serger. That would be just for your sewing machine. So serger is an addition to your sewing tools, not a substitution to your sewing machine, if that makes sense. Okay, do you have another question about a serger? If you do, leave that for me in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. And you know what? Just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, here's a video of a garment that I self-drafted and made using only serger. So go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy sewing, happy serging.